Hey, what's up everybody? Tech Trucker here. It is Friday. That means it's vlog time again. And as you can see, I'm still in my work clothes. I just got home. I'm going to have to run to uh, my in-laws to pick up my wife. She dropped off the kids for the weekend. I'll talk about that in just a little bit. But first, I want to uh, let you know there is going to be an action figure hunt at the end of this vlog. I have not done that with my uh, vlogs before, but today I did a little bit of fig hunting, so you got a little bonus at the end of this week's. So, first thing I wanted to talk about, so I had, I had brought up before there was the SH Figure Arts uh, Justice League Batman figure, and it looks amazing, it looks really, really cool. Here's the thing, I saw another picture, I believe it was on the, uh, the Big Bad Toy Store's website for pre-order, and there's a picture of some of the accessories. Here's my gripe. If you look at the grapnel gun, and then you compare that grapnel gun to the Mezco 112 Collective, uh, Batman versus Superman, it looks almost exactly the same. And then you see they've got a couple of darts um, that they're providing as well. They're not darts, they're the, the grapnel hooks. They look almost exactly the same as what you get with the Mezco. I don't now I don't mind if they are close, but this was just looks way too much of a like too much of a copy to me. And then you look at their batarangs, and I get it, you know, if if this is what the batarangs look like in the movie, if this is what the grapnel gun looks like in the movie, maybe I'm just being overly critical. Um, but it just looks like too much of a copy of the Mezco. So what do you guys think? Am I way off base? Maybe I'm not way off base, but it just was off-putting to me when I saw that. All right, next up, I just wanted to, now I know, clearly, nobody from the family is watching this video, but this week, Stan Lee's wife, Joan, passed away, um, and I just wanted to acknowledge that, and um, you know, my condolences clearly to the family. Again, I know, they're not watching my video, but, I just kind of wanted to say my piece. Um, it's the the first thought that came through my head, and, and at first I felt guilty about this. Was well, I, I'm guessing Stan's probably not going to be too much longer after this. And I know that seems insensitive, but really what I mean is, is, you know, Stan and Joan were married for like 69 years, and a lot of the times when people who have been married for such a long time, uh, when one of them passes, oftentimes the other who is left behind passes very shortly after. And I think some of that is is kind of a beautiful thing, that, that these folks don't need to be alone for an inordinate amount of time. And, you know, I hope for, for my wife's sake that... Uh, if actually I hope for my sake because I, I don't hope I actually hope once I pass that my wife will have a long life after but if my wife passes and I'm old I wouldn't mind going shortly after she does you know it's just kind of like my kids have moved on if I've had a full life which I really feel that Stanley and Joan must have had a fairly full life considering all that they've done um I don't know I think it's it's not tragic it's uh sort of serendipity to me. So, uh, my condolences to the family, um, and condolences to anybody who uh, also is is um, affected by this. Moving on. So, this week's uh, vlog, I'm doing a little bit different. I'm not quite doing the what made me happy, what made me annoyed. A um, little bit different. But this week, I want to talk about some comics that I've been reading. I've been reading The Secret Wars... Um, the 2015 Secret Wars uh, story arc from Marvel. And I'm not going to give away uh, very much of the story, and I'm not really going to talk that much about the story. The Basically, the idea is, is uh, multiple universes are about to collide, and they are fighting to um, try and save their own universe. And it's an interesting concept. It's an interesting storyline. Here's my gripe. My biggest gripe with this story arc 
And I have this gripe a lot with Marvel Comics is there's so much noise. And what I mean by all the noise is there's just so many side stories and so many stories that don't seem to be brought in very clearly into the, the, the primary story. Now, I'm lucky I've got Marvel Unlimited subscription. Uh, it's an annual subscription with Marvel where you can uh, read digital uh, prints. And so you're basically paying, I think I'm paying 70 bucks a year. And I can read everything that they've got digitally available. Um, clearly not all of the uh, brand new stuff is available right away. And a lot of the older archive stuff still hasn't been digitized yet. But... There's like 100, almost 200 comics in this story arc. And I'm finding it's so hard. If you read in the order that they provide based on publish date, it's impossible to understand what the point of half of these comics is. And it's just bugging the crap out of me. Because I'll be off reading about the Thors. And then reading about... uh, Doom, and that's an interesting story arc. And then all of a sudden, Old Man Logan's there, but we don't really know why he's there, what the point of his story arc is yet. And I get, sometimes it takes a little time to develop it. And sometimes you have to read the entire story arc of that individual story to be able to understand why it's coming into into play. I get that. But to me, it really feels more like a money grab. It just feels disingenuous. And that's why I'm super glad that I at least have the Marvel Marvel subscription. Because otherwise, there's no way I would be buying 150 to 200 comics of just the story arc. Not to mention the entire story arc of each series. I mean, at two to five bucks a crack, that's hundreds, thousands of dollars. For this story that is all over the place. It's just ridiculous how fragmented this story is. And I get this this particular story arc. I haven't seen a lot of super positive reviews on, on uh, this particular story. But that's my issue. What do you guys think? Have you read the, uh, the actual story arc? Uh, what do you think of it? Is it good? Am I... Do you agree with what I think... Uh, with a lot of the Marvel um, events is that they just kind of are all over the place and sometimes there's just there's too much information and it feels like a money grab. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I've actually got something exciting for me, very exciting for me. I've got an unboxing. Uh, I won recently. Uh, He is the SoCal Collector. Go check out his channel. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, his name is Koi Win. Uh, I asked him if he could pronounce his name or let me know how to pronounce his name. I think I got it right. Let me know in the comments if I got it right. Um, but I won his giveaway. I can't remember if it was a 350 subscriber giveaway. Uh, but his, his channel has been growing really, really fast. And I'm super stoked for what I won because I have not seen this in stores. I know he was hoping that people were going to pick something else, a little more, uh, maybe a little more sexy, but to me this is really sexy. I know that's, I I don't like using that word, but I don't really care. So the box got banged up pretty good, but it looks like he packaged this really, really nicely. We got some packaging here, oh look at that. We got bubble wrap. Oh, I'm so excited. I haven't seen this in person. See if I can get the light to not. Look at that. It's the Spider Man 2 pack of Mary Jane and Peter Parker. This is so cool. I I still don't think this is ever going to show up in my town. And if it has, I think maybe we only got like one or two of them. And they already got bought. Oh, this is awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, So here's the dilemma. I'm going to review these. 
do I do two separate videos or do I just do one and review them together? I'm thinking two separate because I don't know for me I prefer keeping it I don't know let me know in the comments should I separate them or should I just do one big long one of both of them we'll go from we'll see okay so before we get to the action figure hunt uh, like I noted at the beginning the reason that I'm still dressed in my dress clothes is I'm in a huge hurry and I shouldn't even be recording this much but whatever my wife and I are going to a pizza camp this weekend. So tonight the kids, it's Friday night, the kids are going to go to grandma and grandpa's. Actually, they're there already. I need to go pick up my wife. Um, tomorrow morning, at the butt crack of dawn, my wife and I have to head up north uh, past the cities. I think it's like northwest somewhere uh, of the cities, the Twin Cities. And we are going to an adults-only summer camp it's pizza camp and basically it's just like a regular kids summer camp except it's adults only there's hiking canoeing and uh, archery and all sorts of other things and the theme is pizza and so they've got like wood fire grills and we're gonna get pizza for supper and they've got some uh, some local brewery that's bringing beer and so the beer is included in the fee. It's kind of spendy, but I won't talk about how much it is. You can go look on their website. I'll put the or the the link in the description below. So if you're ever coming to Minnesota, it's a kind of a neat idea. My wife and I have never done this before. I'm a little nervous because I'm thinking I might be the old the old fart there. Um, but you know we're gonna have some fun with it. We're gonna have some pizza, have some beer. Uh, you know maybe do some canoeing or some. I don't know. I don't know what the heck to expect, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, apparently, there's pretty much no internet. There's no cell service. There's no. There's pretty much nothing. There's not even a bathroom in the in the cabins. Um, the cabins are co-ed, or you can do gender specific or whatever. I I can't think of the word. My wife and I are going to be in the co-ed, uh, but you got the bunks, you know, individual bunks. So it should be interesting. Should be a blast. Should be fun. Um, so that's what we've got going this weekend. So that's why I need to get us to the hunt videos and then get going. So without further ado, I took a little time today to do some action figure hunting. I hope you enjoy. Here we go, guys. I'm on my lunch right now and I'm heading on over to Walgreens. Really don't anticipate there's going to be anything there. I'm really hoping that they've got that moon night though. So. We're gonna see if we can grab anything. I figured, hey, you know what? Let's do a little walk. About, I don't know, about a mile one way. So I gotta walk close to two miles. You know, that's about about equivalent to going on a going to the gym instead, which is what I should be doing. But that's not what I want to do. All right, I'll see you when I get there. All right, we're here. Let's go see what they got. Ready? Go. <laughs> Let's see. Nothing but Hulkbuster. Rats. Okay. Oh, 
bummer. Alright, we're at Walmart. And looks like there's a homecoming. See what they got for clearance. Still some those. Nothing, nothing. More nothing. All these pops, these have not changed in ages. I got a bunch of these. These haven't changed. Man, striking out. Alright, so we got a butt ton of. Transformers for the new movie. I'm gonna wait. I'd love to get this one. I want to see if he's gonna go down in price. I've seen so many of them in my town. Those are cool. Yeah, that's a lot of them. <laughs> All right, we got a bunch, a bunch more. Sector. Who is this guy? Oops. My bad. No, that's... What the heck is that? Is that a microscope? Weird. It looks weird to me. Got a burn. Bumblebee. Gone. Got a burn. Got a bumblebee. Inner Rube. <laughs> that sound looks cool. Virgin Cup. A coop. Well, I'm not really looking for Transformers today. There, here's the rest of our legends. Man, we got a lot of these. Jeez, Angela. Anything new or do 
discounted anything. Just because I really love these little things. Can't wait for these to go on discount. Probably grab him and this guy at some point. we got all right come on guys this is unacceptable we're we're at Toys R Us now so Walgreens Walmart <laughs> nothing let's God let's hope let's hope that this uh, Toys R Us has Moon Knight I, I it's the only thing I want all right let's see what we got all right we always gotta check the mega blocks when we come here we still have one of those. Oh, they still have a bunch of them. Cool. I haven't really marked anything down enough. This is $29.98. That's kind of cool. No. 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 I still got these for $5.98. I don't know. Alright, here we go. Legends. This is cool. I do not collect three and three quarter inch, but cool nonetheless. How do they have these at forty nine ninety nine? Come on, you guys. All right, let's. Doesn't look like they got anything new. This is going to be a failure in the legends. And Star Wars, they got these for $11.99, but the only thing I would maybe consider is a K2SO, but I already have him. I've got a couple of him. Death Trooper. No, nothing of any consequence here. Alright, moving into NECA, and well, we got these still for $40. Bucks. No. Well, we got Aliens. Bishop. Uh, we got him for $18.99. Not bad. Ripley. This guy. I got that already. Very cool. Let's see if they got any good wobbler. No, that's the only one. I wish they'd put her on sale. Ooh, look at this. Big Batman. Love to have that. But I don't have the cash. Actually, I wouldn't mind getting this one too, except it, the neck looks stupid. The neck looks really stupid, so not paying full price for something I think looks kind of stupid. These are so cool. God, I don't know why I just can't pull the trigger on these. They've got like all of them. Still dumb looking face, but whatever. Oh, Creed. Drago. Deadpool. He needs to go on discount. He's at 19. Should be 9. Oh, Pacific Rim. 
ever saw it. Oh, this is pretty cool. It is really cool. I wonder if they've got Jay. Yeah, I didn't think they did. these I don't feel like going through all of them that's the problem what it is. Ah, are you serious? Come on. No moon night, but we had the homecoming wave and again, no, no moon night, no chases. I went to Walgreens, Walmart, Toys R Us. I even went to Barnes and Noble. I didn't film in there because there was a butt ton of people. I mean, when I say a butt ton, it's like, imagine a ton of butts all piled up in Barnes & Noble. That's how many people a butt ton is. I mean, it's huge. <sighs> so I didn't feel comfortable uh, filming, and it would have slowed me down. I needed to get going. So I didn't find anything. And I get you probably, you watched the video, and you saw, man, Matt, there's, there's tons of stuff you should have picked up. I know, but all I wanted was Moon Knight and maybe a chase or something really interesting that piqued my interest and none of that happened. I couldn't find anything that I really, 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 really wanted. Arr, strike out. So I'm starting to wonder if I'm going to have to cave and either see if I can find Moon Knight online or maybe uh, hook up a trade or something. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I really, really want that one. Uh, but I also need to save my money for the new uh, um, Netflix Marvel Knights wave and then the Thor Ragnarok wave. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Eh, we'll see. Alrighty. That's all I got for this week. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a great weekend. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.